Welcome back to Golf Extra. Charlie Woods burst onto the golf scene back in 2020 when he was only 11 years old. After a great performance alongside his famous dad, Tiger, fans and media members alike began to take notice. But where has Charlie Woods' game gone since then? And just how good can he be? Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe for more videos just like this one. Now, let's get right into all the latest updates on Charlie Woods' golf game. Tiger Woods is one of the greatest golfers in the history of the sport, so it's no surprise that his son would be surrounded by a fair amount of hype and anticipation in terms of his own golf game. Of course, Tiger was perhaps the ultimate golf prodigy when he was younger. Taught by his own father, Earl, Tiger dominated the junior golf circuit, breaking many records along the way. He became a star in professional golf not long after and is the pinnacle of modern golf performance. Charlie Woods, meanwhile, comes from a slightly different background. Already saddled with the famous Woods name, he didn't make his break onto the world stage until 2020. Before that, he competed on a smaller stage in Florida Junior Golf, but didn't dominate to the level that would give him massive hype. Things changed, though, when Tiger and Charlie signed up to play as a father-son team at the 2020 PNC Championship. Even before the 2020 PNC Championship and Charlie's debut on the world stage, Buzz was building. Of course, some of that is due to his connection to his famous father, but there was also some buzz that built in relation to comments made by another golfer. Former world number one golfer Justin Thomas, who's good friends with Tiger Woods, revealed even prior to the tournament that he had something of a rivalry with the 11-year-old, saying, For some reason, Charlie just always wants to beat me. Doesn't matter what it is. Although he's never beaten me in golf or a putting contest, he still talks trash just like his dad. It'll be fun. We'll have that, like, inner tournament within a tournament, trying to shut his little mouth up, but it'll be fun. Once Charlie got to the PNC Championship, they made an instant impression by hitting the driving range side by side where their swings looked remarkably similar. I wonder why. Once they got out on the course, even in matching outfits, Charlie continued the show. During the first round of the tournament, he hit an incredible second shot 175 yards on a par 5 to within only a few feet of the pin. And not only that, he finished things off by draining the eagle putt. It was the only eagle of the day, which no doubt impressed his dad. For the tournament, Tiger and Charlie ended up in seventh place. Pretty impressive for a pairing that included the youngest competitor in the field. Tiger was very proud of his son and happy with the experience after the event, saying, I don't think words can describe it. The fact that we were able to have this experience together, it's memories for a lifetime. The pair would go on to compete at the 2021 iteration of the event as well, and this time finished in second place. Charlie continued to look like the mirror image of his famous father, and pundits also compared his swing to that of golf star Rory McIlroy. Charlie still remained competitive on the junior golf circuit in Florida, but his play didn't rise to the level of total domination. By the time that the 2022 junior golf season rolled around, Charlie had a larger, more muscular frame and an even better swing. He illustrated this in large part at the 2022 Nota Begay III Central Florida Regional, where he finished tied for fourth in his age group. He didn't start off the best, shooting a first round 80 to drop back into ninth place, and also was one over par through the first nine holes on the second and final day of the tournament. Then, Charlie caught fire, just like his dad has so many times. He ended up gaining five strokes on the back nine, including pouring in an eagle on the par 5 14th hole after almost holing out his approach shot. This was good enough to finish the round five under par and move him into a tie for fourth place. Although Charlie didn't win the event, his performance still inspired a lot of hype from the golf media and garnered a fair bit of anticipation for his upcoming appearance at the 2022 PNC Championship. Three-time major champion and current golf analyst Patrick Harrington summed up much of the feeling surrounding the young golfer. It's very interesting for a 13-year-old and he did it when he was 11. It's hard to support the angles in a golf swing when you don't have, at 11, he could hold the club at the right position. Like most kids who are good at 11, 12, 13 years of age, their swing hasn't even come close to developing. Like, I bet you if you went back and looked at Rory at 12 years of age, he was hitting a big, loopy, you know, drop kicking, because that's what they do, kids. But Charlie has always managed to pressure the golf ball, which is exceptional at that age. It really is. So yeah, I'd be looking at that and looking at the swing to see how it is. While the anticipation was understandably high from those who hadn't had much visibility into Charlie's game in between his appearances in PNC championships, things were different for Tiger, 
who obviously has seen Charlie play as much as anyone. He's even caddied for him in multiple tournaments, including the aforementioned Nota Begay event, and said about Charlie's developing game, playing tournament golf, you've got to make a switch on the fly and trust it. And that's where I've seen the biggest growth when I've caddied for him in events or I've watched him play. I can see him rehearsing shots, trying to get out of a certain pattern. I always tell him why we're doing what we're doing so that he can retrace the steps. And when he gets a little off, now he knows what to go back to and understand that. Understanding how to fix it went on the fly when I'm not around. It's what I was taught by my dad. Both Tiger and Charlie ended up dealing with a fair amount of adversity during the 2022 PNC Championship. Tiger dealing with the flood of ailments that have plagued him in recent years, and Charlie nursing an ankle injury. While they started off strong with a combined score of 59, the pair trailed off in the second round, finishing six strokes back of the winners. As Tiger said after the round, Charlie and I, we played yesterday. Today, we were both like walking penguins out there. It was all good though. However, family friend Justin Thomas, who also played in the event, had a silver lining for Charlie in what had to be a challenging event managing his injury on a big stage. After the round, JT said, when you're playing well, it's easy. It's probably a great learning opportunity for Charlie of just being in competition with him and also for himself of, hey, I didn't have my best stuff and maybe what was I thinking differently today than I was normally. Charlie also got a glimpse of his father's greatness up close and personal during the first round of the tournament, which could definitely help him going forward as he works to get his own game closer to that level. Charlie remarked, I feel like I already knew what he was capable of, and then yesterday, that's the best he's ever played in a while, and that kind of shocked me a little bit. That's really it. So just how good is Charlie Woods? He's certainly not the golf prodigy that his dad was at his age, but he's also no slouch. It bears mentioning that the majority of pro golfers today weren't highly touted as junior golfers and grew into their skill set over time. There's something to be said for letting kids be kids and not letting them get burned out on high-level competitive sports at a young age. With that being said, Charlie still possesses the pure tools and competitive genes that make a professional athlete. He'll be expected to continue his play as he gets older, whether at the collegiate level or the professional level. He shouldn't be measured against his dad's greatness. Instead, we should appreciate his golf ability for what it is at the moment. As analyst Patrick Harrington said about Charlie following the PNC event, it doesn't really matter how good you are at 11, 12, 13 years of age. It's how much he loves the game when he's 22 years of age. It's fascinating to watch now, but it will come down to how much he really loves the game for how successful he is. So, what do you think about Charlie Woods' golf game? Do you think he'll be a star on the PGA Tour one day? Or do you think that his legacy will be different than his dad's? Be sure to leave us a comment with what you think down below. Make sure you like, subscribe, and turn on post notifications so you can watch our latest content updates as soon as they drop. We'll catch you in the next one. Have a great day.